Hey, I'm looking for Boyd Calloway and a man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You, you can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. Not so goddamn fast! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know? I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. But I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... Get, I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I wanna be, so you can't be me! What a way with words. Uh, damn you, Theodore Levin! You're a snake! Damn you! Hey, damn you, nobody! Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I... I'm an old man. This never happened to Achilles, to Gawain, to Caesar. It can't happen to me. I will kill them both here! Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! Yes, you are! <sighs> all, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove... Nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Uh, maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Now, you're drunk, and you're bored, yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him, an old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Well, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. You. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshal was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long has he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? <laughs> well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> Oh, 
Not, not. What? Not. Be right, not. I speak the truth. You're killing this man. Killing it with greed. Killing it with science. I am. Son. You made short work of them. You must be Slim Grant, State Marshal. Okay, let's get you out of here. Yes, indeed, son. Uh, uh. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Now, you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? I was, before you got so short with me. Son, what the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. So... You were saying? Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. I'm taking you to them. Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. I'm a state marshal, and this is an abduction. Horseshit! I'm saving you. This is just a little detour on the way to liberty. I will prosecute you for this, you insubordinate bastard. There you go again, Mr. Grant. Ain't doing yourself no favors. What's your name, son? I ain't got no name, and I ain't your son. Sit tight. I'll take you to your friend. And this will all be over. Oh, not for you, it won't be. Whatever you say. This is it. Down here. 
Almost over, Marshal Grant. Stay, Marshal Grant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Well, that settles that then. I shot him in the back. I shot him in the goddamn back. When these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Well, now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! Shit! <sighs> Shit, indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, don't you start now. No, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No. And you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, well, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. 
Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be rich. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. They're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Morning. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. <sighs> if you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well... Life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Yeah. All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Thank you. I swear half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing, have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. What the hell? Yeah. 
Gideon. Oh. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Now get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by it. I said... It. You <coughs> said your last words. Hey, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <coughs> Okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was. I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them! Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard! <sighs> Now make sure you tie him up real good. No! He's making a run for it! Oh shit! Quick, get after him! Come on! Get him, Arthur! Rope that son of a bitch! Stay away from me! Make these nice and tight. With pleasure. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? Damn oh, coward. Go to hell. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. <laughs> this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. 
You wasting your time with that girl. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. You know my choice. All right, you. Let's get you home. Yeah. Now get out of here. 